Hi to Mystic Essentials, and today we are going to do Facing Your Fears for May. We are starting out with the Dark Mirror Oracles for fears, blocks, holes. Then we're going to see the darkness that surrounds these fears, blocks, and holes, followed by main energies, right? Anything that needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted, we will. And whatever needs to be broken down, it will, okay? So, Spirit, for Scorpios as a collective, what is the most prominent dominant energies for these fears, blocks, and holes that you have for the month of May? First one out, perchance to dream, Scorpio. Perchance to dream. Another fear, a block, a hole that Scorpios will face in the month of May, Spirit. Oof. Fated to suffer. All right, Scorpio, you got to watch out. An offer is coming. An offer is coming. What is the darkness that surrounds, perchance, the dream spirit for Scorpios? What is it that they need to see? I have a few. Okay, you got, oof. Okay, you got three that's face up, right? I'm going to go over those. And then you got this one that is face down, right? So you have individuality, being yourself towards being playful. Mm -hmm. You also have reminder here. And what is not seen or what is not recognized, loyalty. Pay attention to loyalty, Scorpio. I'll put this up there. And what is the darkness that surrounds fated to suffer for Scorpio spirit? Fated to suffer, Scorpios. Okay, let's go, Scorpio. High priestess of water, stepping into your water element, using your intuition about this offer. Some will, some will not. What is the energy around this per chance the dream spirit? You have two. Two. You have appreciation. Mm -hmm. That's that recognition. And you have the garden and the gate. Some of you will be stuck and some of you will come out of the gate. Okay. And for fated to this offer spirit that's coming in towards Scorpios, fated to suffer. What is the energy at this time? Oh, Scorpio, let's shake up out of this all tied up. If you do not use your intuition or call forth spirit, many of you are going to accept this offer and you're going to be tied up, bound up. So you better watch out for who's coming in with these offers. So let's get to your first Block, hole, or regret. It's to dream. This is a card of one, the one you, the one thought, the one journey. And it's a lot going on here. The one you is going to remain the same, perchance to dream. Someone is holding you down till you literally fade away. Someone wants your spot. Someone wants what you have. The one you is perchance to dream. Someone is dreaming of being in your spot, taking your limelight. The thought is so much. Thought could be you being you and you seeing what you need to see and receiving a message or making it understood because that orange bird is there. Some of you are going to take it as a joke, playful. Mm hmm. Some of you are going to think back on what you had to do to get to where you are or what you have. Hard work, much gain. And then you're going to and then some of you are going to look in and see where your loyalty lies. This could also be looking at friends who become enemies. Loyalty. Who are you loyal to? Yourself or who is loyal to you, Scorpio? When I say it's a lot, it's a lot. And what and what is the journey? The one you, the one thought, the one journey. Some of you are going to be appreciative. 
you're going to earn your reward. You're going to see them before they even arrive or you're going to know what's going on, when it's going on, right? And then the garden and the gate, some of you are going to stay stuck. Or you're going to get put into a position in which you are wishing and praying for change because this person here is looking at that butterfly right there. You're going to be stuck in a gate, cage, block. And you're going to finally wake up and say, you know what? Something needs to change or something's not right. Scorpio, do what you got to do. Use your intuition, right? Perchance the dream. It talks about dominant energies because literally you have two masculine energies and what are the masculine energies the masculine energies are the energies that are positive holders more positive energy but literally someone is coming in here and holding scorpio down as they fade away this is the person head fading away and this is the person who who was grabbing on to the person who's on top standing up this is their hand fading away moving out the way Someone is literally holding you down till you fade away. Who is this person? You need to open your eyes and see them. This could talk about a relationship because it's two people. What are the twos? Pairs, like this pair of people. Doorway, gateway, thresholds, opportunities, decisions, missed opportunities, right? Conversation and debating. The conversating is the... um talking and the uh, compromise and the negotiations and the debating all of those things are the negative sometimes it's, it results as the police or the law enforcement being called it talks about the bonding factor or the connecting factors you are in the presence or someone is in the presence of you right and then the thing about it is look at the moon cycle either this happened during the um new moon in April, or this is going to happen in May because the new moon is upon us for May because uh, Saturday, the new moon is here. So pay attention to whatever someone wants what you have. And then the thing about it is, Scorpio, whoever this person is, you are calm and comfortable with them because you have a blue cloth wrapped around your leg. Blue talks about the calming, the relaxing, the being in chill mode, tranquility, kind type of energy, right? But this person is standing over you. And then the thing about it, behind you is like a brown ball, like someone is holding you down what others can't see and what is the brown the brown talks about what needs to be grounded what needs to be stabilized what needs to be brought down calm down but brown also talks about what needs to be uh buried ended restricted and rejection also so pay attention spirit what needs to be surrendered released or accepted for per trans dream for scorpios you gotta open your eyes Open your eyes, Scorpio. Whew, that flew out. You have <laughs> surrendered to what is. Look, that release. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you cannot change a situation or compassionately, that's this, except it is exactly as it is. It will bring you peace. What is? Who is? What is? Who is? What if? What is that? What is this? What is? What is? What is? What is? See, uh uh. That's that release. And then the thing about this car, a, a feminine energy, which is the weaker energy, wears white. The purification or clarity of the release. See how they're releasing? The, the clouds are white, but this ground is brown. What is the brown? What needs to be stabilized, brought down, settled down, right? What needs to be calmed down? But it also talks about restriction and rejection. What needs to be buried? What needs to end? The what is. You must go with how you feel. That's the only way you're going to see this person or know this person. Because if you were comfortable with this person, which they're telling us you are, you know, you would allow this person to get close to you or next to you. And if you was not comfortable, this person wouldn't even be a, allowed to touch a hair on your head. 
So who is this person that is in your presence that wants to see you fall, wants to see you lose? You see? So when you start getting into the darkness that surrounds perchance the dream, you have four different energies, four different situations. Here you have individuality. This is also a card of two. This could be someone hating on you because you are who you are. Maybe you are so mysterious. I wonder what Scorpio got going on. But see, it also talks about you being, you know, a spiritual being, right? The a communication or a message is coming. That's that bird. And a lot of you are going to receive it and you're going to understand it. And then you're going to make things happen. Because see, the thing about it is this, this bird is orange. What is orange? Open way, open road, obstacles being removed. And I have been telling you all since last month about eating red berries, cherries, strawberries, uh, raspberries. Once again, it's here. It's all type of red berries in the background. I don't know if y'all can see them, but they're there surrounding you. It's about building up your energy and protecting yourself up. Making sure you protect yourself from the unseen, the unknown at all times, Scorpio. And when you put these two cards together, it talks about the creation because it's three. The creation of you being who you are against someone who wants to take your place. So let's get it, Scorpio. There's no what is. Because you know what? For a person to tell you, I know who I am. There's no what is. Because that what is talks about the confusion and being unsure. Being yourself. Stand up. And then you have some Scorpios that um, they are reminded of their position. They are reminded of who they are. Look. Don't forget is engraved in that stone. Don't forget you are who you are and you will be who you can only be. And this is the one you. One you, one thought, one journey. Something is going to remind you of who you are. And something is going to remind you thought. I worked so hard to get in the position I'm in. I worked so hard to get the things that I've worked for. I've worked so hard that now I have to defend myself or whatever I earned a gain from a person who wants to take it, not a person who wants to work for it. They want it. Whether it be someone coming in asking you for money. Well, uh, I don't have nowhere to stay. Can I stay with you for a, a few days? And then the few days turn into a few months and no one helps you with the bills. So keep, keep cool, keep calm. But just uh, remember that you are where you are because you've earned it. The main colors of this card is white and green. The purification, the clarity of the green. What is the green? Abundance. It says wealth, right? New growth, growth, movement forward, green light. So you do what you got to do. And then some are going to take it as a joke. Look, playfulness. And, and, and when you have a person who's playful now don't forget that i always tell you when you talk about cats and dogs they are re they represent friend or enemy this could also talk about the person who comes around and jokes around all the time they are the ones who want to hold you down to see you down because literally look this um cat is playing with a ribbon and then a moon is dangling from a string look like a puppet that is the strain that's the moon dangling getting the uh, attention and you know the moon could represent reflection deception the unseen the unknown but before the attention was on the moon and uh, don't forget that um moons uh also talks about water signs see they were playing with a string but something has their attention look at all the red so the main colors of this car is white red and the cat is like orange or brown. So we'll say brown because it's like brown and black. So the purity or clarity of love, of grounding, because that's the red and that's the brown. Or it could be the purity or clarity of defeat, of rejection. That's the red and the brown. So Scorpio, be careful for who this person is because you can have a person who comes around and jokes all the time. But see... 
together, these two cards make a nine. What is the nine? The divines and the universe and the most high. The heavens are calling for for your attention to the situation. Watch who's playful with you. Watch who always jokes around. Uh, they just like the joker. See? And see, the thing about it is you're going to know or you're going to see because this is card alone is an eight. What is eight? Calling for a spirit in a situation, spiritual reverse and rejuvenations, also known as transformations. I hear that uh, for people who are in this situation, watch for the, um, if you, if you are a person who like recognizes facial expressions or body language, start tuning in to the voice. And listen to the different pitches and tone changes. And you will kind of figure out where this person is coming from. And for the people who listen to voice and don't pay attention to body language and recognition, start paying, paying attention and you're going to see, you're going to know, right? So now you have, and um, you have two master numbers back to back. You have 44 and 33. So now they're asking you those who are in this situation, right? Or going to be in this situation. Where does your loyalty lie? Master number 33 also makes the six. What is the six? Balance. A lot of you are going to come into illumination because you have sunflowers here. Um, some of you are going to use your intuition because you have the moon upon your uh, third eyebrow. Mm -hmm. It's there. Yeah. But the main colors of this card is brown. And green. So it's the grounding of abundance or the grounding of success or the brown the grounding of new growth or the grounding of that green light to move forward. But it's also could be the rejection or the restriction of wealth, because it's the brown, the burying of success, see, the rejecting of the move forward, the green light. You just have to pay attention. And then the thing about it is this person who's here. They wear a gray shirt and gray talks about confusion. So if you have to uh, second guess anyone about their loyalty, you better remain loyal to yourself because what you've earned, you are um, in charge of holding on to that and defending that and making sure others respect that Scorpio. So the energies here, appreciation, card of six. Now, let me tell you about appreciation, the balance. What needs to be surrendered or released in order for you to see beauty or maintain beauty? See that? When you talk about appreciation, it talks about gains, rewards, recognition, limelight. A lot of you are going to defend this and accept this and understand that what you've worked so hard for no one else can ever take away look see so be careful because no one is coming in here literally volunteer to pay any bills or replace anything that has been lost where does your loyalty lie where does your loyalty lie and when you talk about what needs to be surrendered or purified the white what is the white? This could be you standing up for yourself, releasing any type of negative thoughts or any type of fears, blocks, or holes to see the beauty of yourself, to see how strong you are and obstacles, remove obstacles. See, when you talk about a reminder, what have you forgotten? Releasing the blocks or mental holes. So you can remind yourself everything that you do, everything that you see, everything that you create is of beauty and no one is going to come in here and take it from you. When you talk about this playfulness, who is this person that you need to let go of or release so you can see the beauty or they will no longer block your judgment because they play too much or they joke around too much. They coming in here as a cat, but in reality, they are joker. See? friend or enemy Scorpio and when it comes to you being loyal to yourself what needs to be released or let go for you to see 
that loyalty is still within you or is in front of your face. What is this, Scorpio? Appreci appreciation. Appreciation. And then some here, the creation of the garden and the gate. Some are going to see a way out or they're going to understand the logic or the action comes from your logic. And you, no one can keep you trapped. That's the garden. You're going outside to expand and grow the green, the growth, the success, the wealth, the abundance, the green light, the move ahead to keep going. But some of you are going to allow this person to keep you either stuck in a position and move past you. That's that garden. Or you're going to let them hold you down till you literally are stuck in a position you can't get out of because that's the gate. When you in the gate, because these two, these two make a four. What is the four? The four talks about what is in the root of a situation, what surrounds a situation, what is in a foundation. That's the relationship between these two people. Or what is in the structure? This could talk about a home, a workplace, a medical facility, any type of building. And when you talk about the foundation, what is the foundation or the uh, layout of the foundation built off of? Does it have cracks? Does it have leaks? Anything that has cracks, anything that has leaks or holes is going to fall. So what is the relationship built on? You know what I mean? Who is this person? If it's a relationship with a, uh, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband and wife, what is the foundation made out of? If this is a co-worker, what is the foundation made out of? And if you're unsure, stay away, get away because a person is gunning for Scorpio. So you be careful and do what you got to do. All right. So let's see what is going to be gained as you protect yourself, protect your position, Scorpio. Because it's a lot going on and it's a lot of Scorpios. And see the thing about water signs, even though we are water, when you add heat to the water or you add fire to the water, what happens? The water evaporates into the air or into the sky, right? So therefore, you become out of your water element only to be in what air element? In your head. So, you know, transfer of energy. When we calm, cool, and collective, and even dark, mm -hmm, your water. But when heat is added, a, a situation stirs your emotions into the air you go, right? So let's see. Spirit, when Scorpio recognizes who wants their spot, wants what they have, right? Or wants their recognition and reward or gain, and they surrender to the what is being truthful to themselves and they understand who's loyal and they understand who they are mm -hmm. and they understand and recognize the reminder to themselves towards themselves and whoever this is being playful in the situation coming in as a friend or enemy but really is a joker because Scorpio is going to appreciate the fact of the knowledge in which they hold and no longer stay in the gate, come out to a be abundant, success, wealthy, right? What are they going to gain here? Let's go, Scorpio. Dang. On top of... <laughs> it says, teacher awakens. You're going to wake up. You have something important to share. What do you need to share? You standing up for what you know or what you've earned, what you gain, and no one is going to take it because you will release any type of negative or fear block or hold or regret that you have. Or you're going to come out the gate because no one can keep you stuck or blocked, locked in. It says follow the inner call. When you talk about the inner call, that's this. That's that what is. Don't let anything stop you, whether it be these people, see, whether it be the Joker, see, whether it be uh, you waking up and reminding yourself of who you are and what you have and you must stand up, you being you, 
or where loyalty lies because if no one else lies beside you or in front of you or under you spirit and the divines are always above you let's go let's go it did and, and, and then here's the two mm -hmm. two flowers or two roses and three love or defeat in which you are covered because that is the red spirit says change because you have three and two that's five flowers change what do you wear love or defeat when you wake up there's no more defeat because you're gonna wake up and understand and recognize your strength scorpio let's go wake up to the loving side of you the powerful side of you the creation of the purification choosing choices opportunities doorway gateways twos pairs right bond factors let's go do what you gotta do to move forward hold your own that's what we do we hold our own okay so our next fear block a hole fated to suffer Whew. this this is a card of seven what is seven seven is a number of self-reflection <laughs> Someone is coming in here with a sweet offer, so sweet that you can't refuse it, but it is an offer covered in deceit, deception, could even be death, just being real with you. So here we have a dark image offering Scorpio an apple. Think back to what is it, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, one of them, when they ate the apple and the seven dwarves, Snow White, and she fell into that deep sleep, same thing. A, a, a dark image or a dark figure or a masculine image or a figure. And don't forget, when you talk about masculines, they talk about the strength of the masculine and the reason why this person who's dark is stronger than Scorpio at this time. Because they're, they're, they're the holder of positive energy and this is the holder of negative energy. Because this is a person coming with deception on their mind and Scorpio don't know. That's not good. So this would, because you don't know the unseen, the unknown, because you don't know, this would make Scorpio the weaker energy. And then the thing about it is some of you are getting ready to touch that offer. It's getting ready to come into your possession, right? But his spirit saying, hold on, wait a minute, step into your uh, Scorpio selves. Go towards your intuition because the high priestess of water is here. And what is the high priestess of water? The four. The four is becoming a dangerous number, honestly, because four talks about the grounding or the stabilization or the calming down, the bringing down. What is in the root? What is in the foundation? What surrounds the situation, right? But four also talks about rejection, restriction, what needs to be buried, what needs to end. So if you get so full of yourself, maybe you don't see or know this offer is coming. Some of you say, ah, I'm a Scorpio. They can't touch me. Okay. Don't forget offers come in many different forms, honey. And they don't have to physically give you an offer. They can send it to you in the sky or in the air. And it'll touch you. Send it through the water. Put it in your food. Be careful. These two cars make a two. Twos are another dangerous number because they can mean a lot of things. Doorway, gateways, opportunities, decisions, choices, missed opportunities, communicating factors of conversating and debating. The conversating is the talking and the compromising. The debating is the yelling, the fighting, the arguing, mm -hmm. the law enforcement being called, right? Twos also talks about the bonding factor. The relating factor or two becoming one. See? So, you know, you have to be careful what's going on. So, Spirit says you need to use your intuition about that person or about that offer. Spirit, what needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted for this fated to suffer for Scorpios? Because it, I see a scale. I see a scale here. And we're going to break down some things. Surrender to silence calming down i said four talk about calming down settling down that is the four that is this centering yourself the high priestess of the water it says in quiet meditation and contemplation let go and into the stillness within silence can replenish 
and heal you. See? Calm down. Settle down. Don't get into your air element. Don't go up there. Stay grounded in your water, right? So, you have... It's like if you ground yourself, see the offer, feel the offer, know it's no good, right? You're going to be okay. But for those who uh, don't ground themselves, that's when the scale is going to swing over here. And you're going to be all tied up. And they're telling us what needs to change is this is a card of five, being all tied up. And if you look, the high priestess of water, which is our main element, turns their back, turns her back towards what? All tied up. And all tied up turns her head, the logic, because that's the only thing they can move. And then the thing about it, what else I want you to notice? We have three feminine energies here and one masculine. Feminine energy, Scorpio. Scorpio, feminine energy. Scorpio, feminine energy. See? But see, the thing about this, when you look at the high priestess, and this Scorpio right here, they literally trap that masculine evil energy in. So, you you know, you do what you got to do so you will not be stuck, Scorpio. And it's all about you being in your water element, I'm telling you. So let's break down this high priestess of water, right? And see what you need to see or know what you need to know here. Recognize. Because it's important because this offer is coming. And like I said, it may come in the air. It may be someone doing some type of dark work against you. And you not standing up in your element. And they touch you. So be careful. And then it and it ended the offer. It, it, it ends up like this. Uh-uh. Spirit clarify high priestess of water for what Scorpios came out very quick. Ten of staff laying down burdens, baby. Yes. Let's go. What's under the bottom of the deck? Look, the hangman having a new perspective. Yes. Oh, the star is here. We're going to read a little bit into this. The page of swords. Uh-oh, here we go with these swords. All in your head. The eight of swords. See? So it says, we're going to stop there. So it says, having wishing wishing for a new way or wish fulfillment towards having a new perspective see the star towards the hangman right my light together right and then the thing is mental clarity is coming mental clarity is being given but look either you are stuck or you're going to be stuck see Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. So mental clarity is coming in to either let you out of being stuck. Because don't forget, the high, the high Priestess of Water is about laying down burdens. See? So getting out of being mentally stuck or wishing to have a new perspective, right? Towards ending a cycle or laying down a situation. So being mindful being mindful so look when you talk about this page of swords and the eight of swords this that is this i'm gonna show you how it toggles back and forth not wanting to be stuck right and then some of you because you laid down the problem right took action to lay down the problem and some of you that are gonna be like this all tied up you're gonna be wishing for a way out that's the same thing see so you do what you gotta do but see you find your way out or your ideas when you get into that calm quiet state mm -hmm. that's how that go so you do what you gotta do not to be stuck when you see them coming oh no oh no no thank you not today not today not today so let's look at the offer. Let's see what's going on with the offer that's coming in towards Scorpio. Spirit clarify for Scorpios. Fated to suffer. Mm -hmm. Fated to suffer. What is this offer, Spirit? Whew. Look, look. <laughs> Sneaky actions. 
Seven of Swords towards the Ten of Staff. Look. Better pay attention. Justice being served. Look. Wow. Sneaky actions towards laying down burdens. Ending the cycle. Justice is being served. Wow. Is this karma? But then the thing is, when we look at Seven of Swords, I know we say sneaky actions, but look. Seven of Swords breakdown is somebody who's calm and clear, right? The spirit, the purification or clarity of being relaxed and calm as they move forward, right? That's the white and the blue. This person carries a plan of recovery in their mental as they face a heartbreak. So when you talk about someone who is facing heartbreak, is it the person who's giving you the offer? They have a plan of recovery, knowing they shouldn't give an offer, but they're going to give it anyway. Or is it the fact that Scorpio is going to stop them in their tracks? Because if you look, Scorpio is in the middle between these two masculine energies. Uh huh. And Scorpio, they don't know, already plotted and planned because they was prepared for the sneaky actions or the offer to come in. You see? So when I say stop the situation, stop the action, stop the um offer, that's laying down burdens, right? Right, ten of staff, and that is just as being served because you you had your eyes open, right? And you was expecting it. That's what I'm talking about, Scorpio. Be ready at all times. Stay ready. I stay ready, Leo. So let's see what you're gonna gain. Let's see what you're gonna gain. So just watch out for the offer, right? And then the thing about it is, you could be um the weaker energy because it's confusion because when i look at this image look that the feminine energy you wear white and black the white and the black representing confusion the white and the black what does white and black make gray confusion maybe you feel positive about this person one minute one second and then next you feel like a dark energy about this person that's that flip-flop you're not sure confusion be careful scorpio because it's coming so spirit when scorpios rejects <laughs> that offer that wants to leave them suffering right and they stand in silence or meditates in silence to empower their uh main element of water so they can refuse or reject or being stuck and all tied up yeah what will they gain here Ain't no all tied up. Ain't no confusion. Look, God, cosmic gateway. Those are the doorway, gateway thresholds that I've been talking about. The tools. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Oh, I know. You know why? Because Scorpio is getting ready to power up, babe. Power up. See the offer before it comes. Because they're coming. Or see the person. And you know what type of person you're dealing with because you're a person who can dive deep into the dark. So you know when people are dealing in dark work and there's no tied up. There's no tied up. So you do what you got to do, right? So this is, has been your facing the fears for May. So until I see you again, Scorpio, listen, build up, power up, protect up, right? Work it out, figure it out, all right? Stay safe. Reject, reject, buy, go away, shoot, fly, don't bother me. Because any person who wants to come in here and give you an offer and make it look like a sweet deal, they hating on you. They don't want to see you anything with anything. They want to see you losing. Was that really a true friend? 